I've made these simple backgrounds just on foam board for this demonstration and I've applied the color just with a brayer and then I've spattered with white paint and this is the one I'm going to use and you can just see it's got a fine layer of interference on top and as I hold it to the light you'll see it shimmering. Now this is the image I'm going to use for this technique, regular printer paper printed with a laser and what I'm going to do is I'm, if you can see here Mark Bolan isn't transparent where around him it's transparent and you can see the background through there. So to do this I'm going to paint the area that I want to be opaque with white paint and for this I'm going to use the media tinting base. And I'm, going to, I'm going to apply three coats in total just to make sure that it's definitely going to be opaque. You don't have to worry too much about the black areas but I, I like to cover the whole part of the image that I, I want to be opaque with the paint. Now if you want to learn this image transfer technique in more detail I do have another video and I'll put a link to that video in the description section underneath this video on my YouTube channel. Now all three coats are dry so I'm going to apply the medium at medium across the whole the whole surface but making sure I get that medium right on the edges. And I'm going to repeat the process for the background. Once dry apply a second coat of the medium at medium to the background. making sure you get that medium right on the edges again. And then when the medium is still wet, apply your transfer face down, so ink side down. Make sure it's stuck at the edges. Then burnish with your fingers and finish off with a brayer. And I'm going to leave this to dry overnight before removing the paper. Now the medium is dried, I'm just going to dampen the surface with a, a, a wet sponge and just let that soak in for a, a few seconds, about 30 seconds. Now with a damp sponge, with circular motions, just start to remove the paper. You'll see now that the, the background you can see through the image transfer but where I've painted the white paint is completely opaque. And I'll continue to, to remove the paper. But if we just zoom in here you'll see how cool that background looks. I'm now going to seal the surface with the ultra matte varnish in the media range. I'm just going to put one even coat all over. This will add protection but it will also give tooth to, to add colour. So you'll see here that I've actually added some colour onto the, to the face. I've painted the eyes with thalo um, green yellow. And for the, the skin tones I've just mixed up transparent yellow iron oxide with a little bit of quinacridone burnt orange. I'll just show you on here, lots of water and because of the paint's transparency you'll still every, see everything, you know, all the details through it. But it's just something a little extra you can do. 
I've just had a little bit of water down um, burnt orange to the lips. So it's a very cool technique and you, you can have a lot of fun playing around with these image transfers, especially using this opaque method. So yeah, give it a go. So just to finish off this tutorial, um, again, this is printed on, on regular printer paper and you don't have to paint the image white. So I'm gonna paint this Buddha's head in gold So exactly the same as I did with the white, get right up to the edges. And I'm going to apply three coats to this. So here's one I've actually done earlier. Exactly the same technique, so I've applied this to the board. Let it dry, and now I'm removing the paper. And you'll see the Buddha's head is nice and bright and gold. And the area around it is remain transparent to let that background show through. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching. For more information about the media line, please visit decoart.com.